Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're now into October and our grass is ready to cut and also our soybeans are ready to harvest. So first job I'm going to do is get the grass cut so we can then bale that up for silage. We will need to buy a bale wrapper but we've got the two containers I purchased last time have now been filled with the trees that we cut down. So when we extended the field I cut a few more trees down at the back end of that field just to clear a bit more space. So all the logs that were cut have been loaded into the two containers which are just over there. So they're ready to be sold. So what we'll do first is we'll get the grass cut, get it baled up and then we'll take those two containers up to the store. Get those sold, that'll give us the money then to get the bale wrapper that we can bring back with us. And then we can get the bales wrapped for silage. I said we also have the soybeans which are ready to harvest so we'll get those harvested today as well. And now is a really good price for prefab walls. So we have, I think we have almost 10 prefab walls we can sell which I think current price is almost 5,000 per 1,000 litres. So that should bring us another 50,000 and the first income from our new sawmill that we put down. And using that money as well, that'll go towards finishing off the open horse pasture that we built last time. So we can get the grass finished in that. And then tidy up that area a little bit more. And get a few more horses as well. little bit of grass to cut and so we can get this raked up ready for baling and we should get a, a decent amount of bales off here and so if we get these wrapped now they should be ready for December January when the price of silage is at, at its highest point so we'll make a little bit more money from them also need to remember as well we've got the straw bales which we currently don't need um, and the price for those is usually good over winter as well so there we go that's all the grass cut so we can get that switched off and get that folded up okay we'll just drop this over here for a sec until we can find somewhere else to fit it and then we need the rake which we can use with the uh, little John Deere actually which I think I've got left over by the auger. Yep. I had to get some more barley out for the chickens. So I'll get the rake hook, hooked up to this and then we can uh, do that. I do think we are going to run out of barley before the next harvest. I definitely don't think we got enough from the uh, the last harvest for how quick the chickens are going through it. I think the, the silo is down to around about 10,000 litres. Uh, so the chickens are getting fewer, a good few thousand a month. So we'll get these both lowered down. 
And uh, we'll get this raked up, ready for bailing. So I think, yeah, because we're not getting enough barley from the fields we've got, I think we'll definitely need to look at getting a another field created for spring that we then can sow with um, sorghum, which is, I think, is the only crop we'll be able to sow now. Uh, the other option is to put barley into the soybean field after we've harvested that. Because uh, we can still plant that this month, so we could do the two fields of barley to get some extra crop that way. Uh, which might be a better option then. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Because we could. Yeah, we're probably better off doing another field of barley. And then we can create the new field for oats, which we don't need to plant till spring anyway. Um, it would be more beneficial to have more barley for the chickens as it's the cheaper crop and the higher yielding one. So yeah, possibly once we've done the soybeans, we'll get barley in that field as well. So that'll give us two fields of barley to harvest next year, which should give us plenty more for the chickens. Because I don't think that one field's going to yield enough to keep them going again for another 12 months all right so that's the grass all raked up pretty much uh, there's that tiny little bit there to do and that's that another job done and get those lifted up i don't know if it was overly worth raking it's only really putting two rows into one so overall i don't know if it'll save us much time doing it that way Usually, if it was only if it's only two rows into one, I usually don't bother raking because I say probably not actually saving any time over just going over the individual rows with the baler. If we was putting three into one, then it would save time, obviously, because we've got less rows to go along. But we'll get this put back in here. Now we're going to get back in the international and get the baler hooked up. And we can get all that grass baled up. That looks possibly look like we'll get the first bale will be hay. So we'll reset the bale counter as well. We've got 7,370 litres of hay left in here from when we cut the grass for hay last time. We've got that switched on and lowered down. And it's changed it to grass, or unless that completed that one bale. That tiny little bit of grass picked up, finished that one bale for the looks of it. Uh, yeah, we've because we're getting the Anderson, we can wrap the largest square bales. Just thinking, then, do we need to change the size? No, we should be good with the 240s. We'll just check we have got 240s. If I can see, yeah, 240s are set, so that's fine. That's the one good thing about the Anderson inline wrapper, it will do the largest bale sizes. In square and round as well. It's look like they're six and a half thousand litres. Yeah, we should get a decent amount of uh, grass bales off here. It does look like it's yielding really well as well. So we're already what, up to three bales. And this will be one that once we've got the next area of land that's next to this one. So going that way we'll be able to clear those trees as well and extend this grass field a little bit. Just to make it that little bit bigger. 
Uh, so eventually we'll probably put the field that we sown with barley last time as grass as well and just keep two grass fields at this um, farm for hay so we'll have plenty of hay then for the horses and the sheep and uh, as I mentioned before I want to try and build another farmyard somewhere else on the map for the arable like yard so we'll have a, a bigger grain grain bin set up um, some sheds to keep combine in and any equipment we use for arable work just to separate uh, things up a little bit more uh, but that'll probably be a job well once we've finished working on this yard getting this yard fully built up uh, making the most of the sheep and the horses and then we'll look to move on to uh, the next stage of our project here on Dark Forest Last few rows of grass to bale up. See how many we get in total as there's another one off the back of the baler. So, so far we've got 15 grass bales, so we'll possibly get another two. That'll be 17 in total, which won't be too bad. So, considering it's not a massive field, it's uh, a decent amount of bales from it. And I'll just give us something else to sell over winter as well to get a bit of extra money. But uh, not from selling trees. Which is still our biggest uh, source of income at the moment is the forestry side of things. Uh, but as we progress with building up the farm, that'll obviously start shifting towards making more money from actual farming practices so there you go, I think that will be the last bale, I don't think we'll get enough to get another one so I'll just pick up that last little bit of grass uh, one thing I may also do as well is look at getting a set of grass rollers so we can roll this field for the next layer of fertiliser rather than spraying it as suggested by one of my uh, viewers in a previous video so thank you for that suggestion uh, it's not something I've really done very often. I did a little bit on hoe baler on. Uh, but I haven't really done much grass rolling since. So 17 bales in total. So we'll get the baler put away. We'll jump over to the semi and get that up to the store. Uh, get those two containers sold. Yeah, that should give us more than enough money. I think it's around about... 34,000 for the bale wrapper so we'll have plenty of money for that and possibly get another two containers as well while we're there and we can get the wrapper back down here and get the bales all wrapped up alright so let's see how much we get for these two containers uh, 27,193 and 25,308 so quite a bit less for the second one I was in that one had more smaller uh, logs in so we'll just park this up here we'll, I don't know actually if we'll be able to get the bell wrapper back with two containers as well uh, there's no hitch on the back of the semi truck so we can't just take it back with that there is the hitch on the back up here, but I don't know if that'll connect to the wrapper. I'll give it a try. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll see. If not, I might have to come back down with the tractor and get it back. So we need to go. What I'll do actually check the used equipment because I have not checked it today. Yeah, nothing really interesting or use useful to us. So bow wrappers. We want the hybrid X extractor. So we can do the round and square bells with this one up to. 214 180. Uh, foil colour will leave white, number plate will take off. And we'll buy that for 
$34,900. So we're left with 19794 so we can get another couple of containers while we're here as well, ready to be filled next time. Or later, I've probably more than likely next time before we do any more tree cutting. Uh, I'll just keep it standard grey this time and we'll get two of those. So I'll get all these back to the farm then we can get the bales wrapped. Alright, so we're back from the store with the extractor. So we'll get this set up. Actually, we need to put it the other way around. So if we drop it off on this grass going that way, uh, we can then put a row of bales along the edge of this grass field. So if I come over a bit this way first, away from the field, then if we do need to put another row down the side, we're not having to drive around that one. Uh, this one, I should say, to get to the next one. So we'll get that dropped off there, and we can then move it forward manually. And we'll drop the tractor off here. So we'll just stop that there and jump inside this. So we can now drive forward. I don't want to go too close to that fence because obviously we need a little bit of room to drop the first bale off. So I think if we start around about there, I'll get that unfolded. Uh, we'll use the skid steer to pick up the bales, which is just over here because I was using it to feed the chickens. So I did tip a little bit of excess barley onto the ground so I didn't have to keep going to the silo. As I say, they do get through quite a bit each month, so skipping through the night, I have to make sure I uh, keep on top of keeping the feed trough topped up. I don't know if all this will fit in, but we may be able to fit a bit more in. There we go. So that's still a little bit left in the bucket, so I'll just drop that back down on the floor. Uh, not ideal, as I, I need to still possibly increase the feed capacity a little bit more than 4,000 litres which still doesn't seem to be quite enough to uh, last any sort of decent amount of time or I need to come up with another way of storing uh, some barley at the chickens to use that are it's easier to get out of than the uh, the other silo we're having to keep connecting up the auger I think eventually what I would like to do is change the augers we've got to the the base game ones which don't require a tractor to be hooked up to them and then you can jump in and move them around which I think that'll be a, a lot easier than the ones we're currently using. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up two grass bales at a time because they are quite heavy. We don't have the biggest skid steer in the world. So I'm going to be a case of one bale at a time. Oh, we can only put one in the wrapper each time anyway. We might actually struggle to uh, get the actual grass bales into this very well. Well, that's the first one in and wrapping. So, 16 more to go.
Right, so last two bales to... Last two bales to bale up. Uh, wrap up, I should say. And that will be that job all done. So we should... We're not going to make a huge amount off these, but it say, will give us a little bit of extra uh, income come January, December, when we do sell them. So we've got no need for silage ourselves, so it is purely just to make money. And even if we only make the money back for the wrapper, um, at least that'll have paid for itself, and then next time we do any silage, uh, we'll be making a bit more profit from the job. So last bale. Uh, so then we get some fertilizer on the field. I did mention about getting the grass roller, but don't think we're going to have the money to be able to buy a set of rollers to do the grass today. So I may just use the liquid fertilizer again, as we do have some of that already. And then we'll look again a set of rollers for the grass in the future. I will just double check and see what we've got and how much they actually are. I think there may be a smaller one that's affordable, but I think it is fairly small. As so we want grass technology. Oh, grass care. Oh yeah, we can't even afford the smallest roller, $16,500. Yeah, so I've only got, I've got the, uh, the Dalbo grass roller pack by Hispano. Um, which put that the cheapest one's thirty two thousand. Uh, that one's six point three meter width. Well, that's again that's twenty six. So yeah, we can't quite afford a set of rollers. So we'll just use the liquid fertilizer uh, this time. And then we'll possibly look at getting um, a set of grass rollers in the future. And I'll probably have a look through mod up as well, see if there's anything else that's suitable to use that may be a little bit cheaper as well. I'll just get this put back in here out of the way. As we've now finished with that for a bit. And then we'll finish getting these bales. Wrapped and uh, pushed off. Unload bales. So press apart. There we go. And that is all 17 grass bales wrapped up. So we can get this folded up, we'll get this put away, we'll probably put this in the uh, shelter over there by the wheel loader, so there's a bit of space in there. I'm not going to drive it over though, <laughs> well, uh, this is extremely slow so we'll uh, tow it with the tractor. So yeah, that's the grass all done, so the next job we'll get some liquid fertiliser on that, just so it's fully fertilised for the next cut. And then we need to get the soybeans harvested. Um, I did mention earlier about possibly uh, finishing off the horse pen and that, but I don't think we'll get time to do that. Well, not not so much to not have the time to do it, I don't think we'll have the money to do that today. So that'll be probably a job for next time as well. I say I do want to get the soybeans harvested and then get that field sown with barley. Um, which we'll then need to roll and spray herbicide on that as well. Yeah, we'll get the gravity wagon over there ready. And then I'll come back, get the combine. Uh, get the header as well. And then we can start getting the soybeans harvested. Right, so we've got the combine, got the gravity wagon over here ready as well. We can get this turned on, get the header load down, and start getting our beans in. So I don't currently have any of the mod for doing soybean straw. Um, but we were on the server last night and we were doing the corn stalk bales on UMRV in the live stream 
which kind of reminds me of the first DLC is probably going to be for the year two season pass and available separately as well probably be more than likely released by the end of next month as I'm sure it's pretty much due in the first quarter of 2023 um, which does look like it's pointing towards corn stalk bales um, so that will be a nice new feature that we can add on here when that DLC is released um, so possibly there may be soybean straw bales as well possibly maybe some bales from other crops potentially so really looking forward to seeing a bit more about that um, I don't think it'll be too long before we start seeing some more information about the actual first DLC for this year and exactly what's going to be included so yeah if you do have any ideas what you think um, it may be uh, let me know in the comments be interesting to hear your thoughts on uh, what you think will be included in the first one from the little teaser we've had so just show a bale with the corn lo logo on so strong suggestion that it will be corn stalk bales so maybe the possibility where we can actually mow corn stalks after we've harvested the cornfield and then bale them up that way rather than currently what most mods do with corn is spit them out the back of the combine into a swath which then's baled up which I've never seen anybody do that in real life. All the videos I've seen of corn stalk bales are where they've gone over the corn stalks with a mower to chop them up and then bale them up from there. So maybe a new way of doing that as well. Uh, some new equipment for that. Coming up to the last bit of the soybeans, and uh, we may just about fit the entire field in this one small combine. It's going to be close, but it may be possible. So we're only just coming up to 90% now. We've got one full strip and then a partial strip to finish off. So not a huge amount of uh, soybeans, but I think even on hard economy we can get around about a thousand pound per thousand liters. So that should give us what is that eight thousand when we come to sell them next year. So yeah, not a huge amount. We'll just double check what the uh, best price is for soybeans on hard economy. Uh, it might not be as yeah one thousand one hundred eighty five the highest price. So probably around about ten thousand extra off this field. So 94%. So I think it's one of those we're going to get to the end of the field, probably 99%. Or we'll just have a little bit of crop left that we can't get. And as you can see, as we go by our sawmill, you can see the prefab walls there that have spawned. We've got six there. And I think there's almost another four in storage as well. So almost 10. So I think we'll hold on to those till next month where it did show November was the best month for those as well as the eggs. Now we'll get those sold next time. So that'll probably be the first job we do next time to get those sold. Uh, give us a bit of extra money as well. So there's 99. Are we just going to run short? Oh, there we go. 9,077 litres. So I think that's about 23 litres from being completely full on this combine. I'm pretty sure it's 9,100 litres tank so that couldn't have worked out any more perfect other than uh, an extra 23 litres uh, which 
I did destroy a tiny little bit of crop on that corner accidentally when I run over it. I don't think there would have been in 23 litres worth, but it would have made it a little bit closer. So we'll get this into the gravity wagon. I'm going to have to switch the auger over to the third grain bin so we can get this into storage. And that's that job done. So the next job will be to get this sown with barley, um, which I probably won't do. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to do it straight away because um, it's October's the last month we can do barley. And I've, as I said, we've, we are running desperately low on... Uh, we're down to 8,743 litres in the soil of barley. I really don't think that's going to last us until next year when we can harvest, which is June. So we've got, what, eight months before we can get our, our barley harvested. So yeah, we're not, that 8,000 litres is not going to last that long. Uh, we need probably double that. So I've, we'll either get to a point where we're going to either have to buy some chicken feed to keep the chickens going or they're just going to have to go without feed until we get some. Um, we won't get any egg production at all. But I still think even on hard economy, we'll still make money from purchasing the chicken feed. Um, obviously, it's just going to reduce how much we will make from them for that period of time. Uh, but I think I'd rather keep them producing eggs than uh, them not doing anything at all. So that's the combine unloaded. So I'll get all this back. We'll get the auger switched over so we can get the soybeans into the grain bin. Now the combine's been washed, repaired and put away for next year because that's all our harvested done for this year. So I've switched over the auger onto the third grain bin so we can get the soy, uh, yeah, soybeans in there. Put these into storage ready for next year. So I think they're these will be full at their highest price around about June, I think, next year. See if we can get this close enough. There we go. That's our soybeans going in. Our whopping 9,077 litres. So that will be over 11,000 if we get the maximum price. So it's not too bad because it's not the largest of fields. But then it's another bit of income for the farm other than uh, forestry as well. So I'm going to get the, the other field done. I say we'll get that sown with barley, get it rolled and then sprayed with herbicide and we'll also spray the grass field as well with liquid fertiliser. I think we also need to do the other two fields. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, we need to mulch that one first as well. I forgot about the mulching. Yeah, so... That one's partially fully fertilised. Yeah, it does look like I've missed a bit of rolling as well, <laughs> annoyingly. Um, so that one will need some fertiliser on the older section, but the other one's pretty much fully fertilised. The canola needs fertilising, so that needs another layer of fertiliser. The grass needs doing. Uh, so yeah, we need to mulch that field, sow the barley, roll it, and then herbicide, and then we'll need another layer of fertiliser after that as well. So as we've done quite a bit of uh, crop work in the last couple of episodes, I won't do that in this video. Uh, what we'll do is try and find somewhere to put the gravity wagon. See if we can uh, get it under this shed. Just so it's out of the way and in some kind of shelter. I always find these very tricky to uh, reverse. <laughs> well, go the way I want. I may upgrade this one as well to the uh, the bigger one as we progress, because we got the four thousand one available now as well, which will uh, mean we'll be able to get a little bit more crop in it. 
so yeah i think we'll have to leave the the other horses i'm finishing off the horse pasture until next time and then over winter as well i'll probably look to uh get all that done because we just don't have the time today to get the money to do that um but yeah first job next time will be to sell the prefab walls pallets of eggs we've got as well uh, there's also that trailer of the offcuts of wood and there's a few more offcuts to go on there as well we can sell um, so yeah i'm going to go and get the other field done but for the let's play video i'm going to end it here and i'll continue the rest in the time lapse video i say because we have done quite a bit of mulching so in and rolling the last couple of videos with the canola and doing the barley last time as well so yeah i'll continue that in the the time lapse video uh, but for the let's play i'm going to end it here so hope you have enjoyed this episode uh, if you have then please don't forget to give a thumbs up i really do appreciate that and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel then please do consider subscribing we've got more farm simulator 22 videos coming up uh, with the let's play series and also the live streams as well so we can just about squeeze in here so yeah again a big thank you to everyone that's watched i'll see you all in the next one thank you again Goodbye.